welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today I have a miscellaneous shopping haul. Um, this is probably the last drips and drabs. I still have a loft order that's coming and I still have the sneakers from Nordstrom Rack coming. Um, the loft order I've had ordered since November 23rd. They shipped it November 28th. And today is the 20th of December and I still don't have it. So hopefully this week sometime I will get it. Um, I'm trying to be patient. So first up, I did keep that necklace from Kendra Stott from my uh, trunk club. But one of you, I believe it was Mindy Sue, reached out and said, hey, you know, you can get 50% off one item at Kendra Scott for your birthday month. And I said, really? Because I actually, this is my first Kendra Scott piece. I don't, I'm not a huge jewelry fan, but I'm just starting to get a little bit into it. Um, so I went on the site. So in addition to that, I ended up ordering something. Um, I'm a huge filigree fan. I don't know why I like filigree so much, but I love filigree. So it's just a long pendant with, um, I don't know, what would you call that? Almost sort of like a, a diamond type of shape, but it obviously isn't a smooth diamond. Um, and then it has the filigree inside. So I really like this. I'm going to keep it. Uh, with my 50% off for the birthday month, I think it ran with shipping about $50. Um, so, and this has some weight to it and I, this I see lasting a very long time and it is two sided and it like, you know, hollow through the center. Um, so I'm very happy with this. I'm keeping this. The next thing that I put on my list, you know, I'm famous for having my list is I want a pair of earrings in filigree too. It doesn't have to match exactly. Um, and I was looking on Nordstrom. Nordstrom does have some filigree earrings for less than a hundred. So I know that's going to be one of my requests in my next trunk club. So I'll definitely show you that on. Next thing is a few shop your looks items, okay? First up is this sweater from One State. Now I've been on the look for actually a navy sweater with some fun details, you know, maybe bell sleeves. This has um, like the fringe on the arms, okay? I'm not so sure how I feel about this fringe. And as you can see from the camera, the camera is picking up the correct color. They describe this as navy, but I would say it's somewhere between a royal blue and a navy. And that is not exactly what I wanted. This is also kind of like, has like a wide boxy shape to it. And that's generally not my favorite style, but we'll have to see and how it lays. It's by One State. And I got this again from Shop Your Looks. And it was called the One State Gladys Fringe Sleeve Pullover Navy Extra Small. 57% cotton, 21% polyester, 20% acrylic, and 2% elastane. So the majority of it being cotton, I think the sweater is nice, but it was $88. And I got this to specifically go with a pair of driftwood navy embroidered jeans I have. All right. And if you look, the colors don't really match. And I know you don't need, they're, they're navy and they're on jeans. And I know I can probably wear gray because there's gray in this too. But I really wanted a navy sweater. And as you see, this isn't really navy. So if I'm going to get specific and get a navy sweater, I want it to be for these jeans. So I'm most likely going to return this for that reason. Another reason I'm probably going to return it is because, of course, once I get, get something, because, you know, you have to quickly order something on Shop Your Looks. Once I get something, I have to uh, look then to see if I can get it cheaper elsewhere. Now, Nordstrom has the same exact sweater on sale for $43 and change. However, it's not in blue. They have it every other color but blue, but no blue. So between it not matching and it being cheaper elsewhere, even though I can't find the color I want, I'm going to return it. I, I just, you know, obviously $88, it's just not worth it to me. So this is 90% going back. I will try it on. If it looks miraculous on me, I might be swayed to keep it, but most likely not. Next up is this adorable sweater, which I couldn't help myself. I said, Carolyn, you really don't need another sweater. You really don't need another, well, I shouldn't say I don't need another sweater. I don't need another leopard sweater, all right? So this is by Sanctuary, and they're calling it the Helena Balloon Sleeve Pullover Sweater Off-White Extra Small. And this was also $88, so some pricey sweaters I'm getting here. I just couldn't help myself. It has the balloon sleeves, and look, it has the varsity stripes at the end, and I just thought this was so cute. However, when I got it, it is nothing like what I expected it to be. It is super, super thin, fine gauge sweater, almost practically like a knit top, but it's definitely a sweater. 
Um, it's very soft and the mix is actually quite good. I want to say it's 65 cotton. Yes, 65% cotton, 35% nylon. So it is a really nice sweater. I like it a lot. Not what I expected. I kind of expected a chunky knit. And in a way, it's good that it's thin because I already have this leopard sweater. And I know, Kayla, you're like, so good. <laughs> Carolyn, you could totally have two leopard sweaters. And I know most of you would say that too. But this is definitely different. First, this is a huge leopard print. It has the cow neck and it's a big chunky sweater. So I'm trying to talk myself into keeping this sweater because it is so much different from my other leopard print sweater. But I will try this on and see how it looks. I just like the style of it. I, I like... I like soft muted leopard patterns. So this one I definitely liked. So that's next. Next thing I got from Shop Your Looks was probably no surprise to anyone because I've been saying this forever is a pair of joggers. All right. These finally came up in my Shop My Looks and these are the Free People Sunny Drawstring Jogger Pants, size extra small. I got them in black. You know, they're typical. They have a nice thick waistband. Um, the tie is functioning and they have the jogger style bottom. Now I have to say out of all the pants, uh, this is the, probably the second best quality pants. The chaser were the best quality as far as thickness. These come next. The other ones that I was getting from, um, Ever Eve, the sundry and all the other name brands they were giving me, they were so thin. At least these have a, some thickness to them. They're not thick but I don't see my hand right through it. If I hold up to the light, yeah, I can see some light through, but I cannot see through. So these are not bad. They were $48. I will give them a go and try them on, but I think black, because they're black, it makes them, a, I want to say dressy, but dressier than something like the Heather Gray ones. So then after I returned my trunk club, I went online and two of the items that I returned were now on sale even further. So that kind of irked me. I'm like, are you kidding me? I literally just checked out a day or two later, I go back on and now they're on sale. One of them being the joggers that they sent me. Okay. So I reordered them because they went down to 28.80. They were originally $48. And I said, no way, because they're completely see-through. So yes, they are see-through. I can see right through these, but I figure with black underwear, I probably should be okay. Um, but they're now down to 2880 and I knew they fit well because I tried the other ones on um, in the Heather Gary that I returned but I figured Navy is uh, again I wouldn't say dressy but not as pajama ish looking as a Heather Gray and the fact that they are 2880 which is now comparable to something you would get at Target or Old Navy I actually went on Old Navy's website and comparisons to shop for joggers and they were about that price so I will give these a try on. Um, I'll probably end up keeping them. And I had in mind why I got navy versus black. Well, one, because I had already ordered those in black and was waiting for those. But I also have this light blue sweatshirt that would be perfect for the joggers, okay? And I have other sweatshirts. I thought navy was neutral enough, but different enough from black. So give me a moment and I will do a try on and we'll decide what I keep. Okay, up first is the Sanctuary Top. Um, I paired it with the pair of like taupe colored uh, corduroys that I got from the loft, I think last year, maybe even the year before. Uh, I just wanted to, uh, it was something I was actually wearing already and I wanted to take the lazy way out and just wear what I was wearing on the bottom and not have to switch. I will switch for the, the navy blue sweater though. Um, so I think I like this. I love the puff sleeves. I love the varsity stripes. I don't know why, but something about having these little stripes on the sleeve, the cuff sleeve is just too cute to me. Um, I love the softness of the sweater. I think this is a keeper. Let me come closer so you can see the details. You know, see, it has a crew neck, which typically isn't my favorite, but it's nothing I'm against in particular. And it has the balloon sleeve with the banded cuff and the stripes. So I think this sweater is a keeper. I paired them with my ivory boots, um, which I haven't worn yet. I did wear my red ones, but I have not worn the ivory ones yet because we've had snow and I don't want to mess them up. And plus I don't go out that often. So I think this top is a keeper. I think it is cute, a little thread on it. Um, I think it is cute. I'm gonna look back at the footage to be sure because it is pricey. Oh, and another thing is I went on the Sanctuary site and I think I found the same exact sweater there and it's 30% off. 
Um, and here it's $88, but it's $99 on their website and $99 on Nordstrom's. But the Sanctuary website has 30% off, so I actually emailed Stitch Fix and asked them if they would price match. So we'll see. Um, okay, up next, the navy blue. Okay, I have on the uh, one state sweater. And as I said, I'm not crazy about the fit. It kind of has this like boxy shape. And I prefer, I want to say tight fitting, but a little bit more drapey uh, on my sweaters versus a straight out. Um, it also, it is navy blue, all right? I'm wearing navy blue boots, and I'm going to show you the two colors together. There's no way that this is navy. I mean, it's like a bright, a bright blue. It's like somewhere between navy and like a royal blue, all right? I'll come closer so you can see the details of the sweater. Again, a crew neck. Um, it has the fringe on the arms, and I am wearing the uh, necklace with it. So the necklace is a keeper. I'm happy with this. I am going to return this sweater. It just isn't my favorite. I'm not even crazy about the fringe, to be honest with you. I just thought it was kind of different. I said, oh, I could use a navy sweater. And I wasn't quite even sure how fringe would go with the, the almost kind of boho-ness of the, uh, light, the pants. Now, don't get me wrong. I would wear a blue sweater with this. I would wear different colors with this. But if I'm gonna want a navy sweater to wear with this, to wear with the navy boots, I don't wanna spend 88 for something that isn't a perfect match. And yes, I'm one of those matchy-matchy people. All right, give me a minute and I got the two sweatpants. All right, next up are the free people joggers, which may be too tight. I don't know. I mean, there's room up here. You can see that up here. Uh, but when you come down here on my, my calves, because I have big calves, they're pretty skin tight around my calves. There's uh, room in the leg. Here's the rear end. I'm not so sure if there's room back there or not. As usual, there's room down here, but maybe not up here. Um, I like them. I like them a lot. They're very comfortable. The question is, can I leave the house in them? <laughs> so you guys tell me, let me know, are these able to leave the house in or no, or for $48, Carolyn, you either need to size up or do something better. So let me know, they were $48. They are probably one of the thicker joggers I have put on. Um, so let me know, all right? Um, these are up in the air. Next up are the $28 Gibson joggers. Okay, last up are the $28 Gibson joggers. They're very thin. You're gonna have to let me know if they're see-through in the back, I'm wearing beige underwear. Uh, I think there's a lot more room in these than the other joggers. They're softer than the other joggers, but they're a lot thinner than the other joggers. They're also a lot cheaper than the other joggers, about $20 cheaper. There's a you know, draws, functional drawstring waist, two pockets, same type of styling. Um, let me know your thoughts. I think I'm, I'm apt to keep these and I'm kind of debating about the free people ones. I think I might return them because I don't know, again, $48 for joggers, I just, I don't know, maybe call me cheap or whatever. I have no problem paying the 88 for a sweater, but for something that I don't feel cute in, I'm not too apt to pay too much money for. <laughs> so give me your thoughts on that. Thank you again for returning to subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I only need 70 more subscribers to hit that 500 uh, benchmark, and that 500 uh, subscriber benchmark, I will be doing a giveaway. Um, so try and, uh, you know, if you haven't already, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. It, just click the notification bell. You just get notified of future videos from me. Like me. It helps me in the rank feeds, and I appreciate your support. Until next time.